Hello and welcome to Game Boy Advance Classics. In this installment, the game is The Pinball of the Dead, released in 2002 by WoW Entertainment and, and published by Sega. This game is, um, of course, again, the, the House of the Dead 2, but this is now The Pinball of the Dead, so it's another spin-off of House of the Dead 2 after the typing of the dead. So, let's play this. Now, picking on the Game Boy Advance, um, this game plays wonderfully using the shoulder buttons of the GBA to as your bumper buttons uh, of you know your of your video pinball table. Personally, I'm not a huge video pinball guy. To me, you know, I'd much rather play something else um, rather than play a pinball game, but this game does really a great job at uh, simulating a, a real pinball type game. I don't know if Sega ever actually, you know, if anyone ever, like Valley Midway or anybody, actually produced an uh, actual um, House of the Dead pinball table. It seems like this is the type of thing that really could have existed, but um, either way, the Game Boy Advance version is really quite fantastic, and man, I like this game. Being a pinball uh, table game, the subject matter is really, you know, what's just like a skin for the game, just to have like some sort of um, like variety, I guess. Because otherwise, it's just pinball, and if you want that, well, go play pinball for the NES and see how much fun that is. So what I'm getting at here is that, um, you know, really the gameplay is, and, like, the, the actual subject matter of, of what you're doing here is far more important than if you happen to like the House of the Dead property. So here's your first boss of the, of the State 1. Like you did. Let's hurry. This being a multi level table um, makes it somewhat interesting and somewhat, you know, exciting because you have, you know, multiple layers that you're dealing with. Of course, like in a lot of other video pinball games, you can um, shake the table by using the D-pad, which is something that you're really not supposed to be doing on a real pinball table.
one thing I have to say is I'm really quite impressed with the, um, the physics engine here. As this does seem like it's uh, really accurate to what an actual pinball table would, would have in real life. You know, if you don't want to um, use the two shoulder buttons, the L and R buttons, you can also use the left and A buttons, which are like your two outer buttons on the, on the handheld. So there's a look at the House of the Dead um, Pinball, or the Pinball of the Dead. An interesting game for the Game Boy Advance, and one that I don't think is very often remembered by a lot of different people. This game I don't think gets a lot of the recognition it really should, because the Game Boy Advance um, did have a lot of pinball games, and um, this one here is really what I think is the best one released on the system by far. So if you have any questions about this game, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Also be sure to hit the like button, because hitting the like button helps support my channel and lets me know that you guys want to see more GBA videos. So I'll see you guys next time with another Game Boy Advance Classic, so thanks for watching. Yeah, it's gold.